Hey guys, what's going on? Druzy here, back again with another South Park Phone Destroyer video. And as you can see, guys, the setup looks a little bit different here today. And that's because I actually got a brand new computer monitor. It is a it is about twice the size of the monitor that I was using. So you see my camera angle is a little bit different. Uh, I might try to see if I can fix that here going forward, or if you guys don't really seem to care too much, as you can see some things behind me. Maybe you couldn't see before, or uh, you're missing out on some stuff that maybe you could see before. But the big thing, there was a lot of things that we're going to talk about here today. We're going to showcase... A new deck that is a deck suggested deck that you guys suggested out. I'm only going to show one deck suggested deck today. So I will show another video sometime this week with deck suggestions from you guys. So if you guys have any decks you'd like to see me use, put them down below in the comments section as always. But we're going to open up the season reset. The legendary season has reset today. I believe this is season 9 now. I don't even remember what season it is. Uh, but I will look that up here before I post the video. So this is uh, the new season reset. We finished 12.05 for the uh, legendary season. So let's go ahead ahead and open up this reward guys and see what we got here we got to the fourth tier which i think is one of the highest ones i've ever gotten uh for myself so kind of a personal record here so we'll see how we do here with it so we get 3500 uh gold to start 2500 tickets 250 cash one prayer bead one 11 chips five hands six robots seven planes of power 10 ancient fossils 10 power serums, 7 total knowledge, 15 feathers, 12 arrowheads, 1 sheriff star. I always get one sheriff star. Always get one sheriff star. It never fails. I swear you could probably watch every season pack opening video that you want. I get one sheriff star like every time. We got 5 calamity hides, 10 shaman Epic cards make Timmies. everything better. I don't really use Pope Timmy, but uh, I plan on using him here. I like rares, don't possibly you? Possibly here in the future. Five Warboy Tins. Only a rare? Five back in your babies? Uh, I'm okay. Two yes, Cyborg epic. Kennys. So epic. One Mom, Fireboy new kid's butter. cheating. One epic Fireboy cards make everything butter. better. We got rare. Three like how often Kenny showers. Two Purifiers. That's good. Now open some more. Tins, three deck in butter. A rare thing. Two PC Principles. So no legendaries in this pack. And I forget what the percentage is that I could have gotten a legendary. But we did get... Let's see, two, four, seven epics. So just seven epic cards and decent amount of rares. So all in all, not the greatest of legendary packs for us. And we restart the season at 1308 and 11,000 uh, ELO or player rank, whatever. So I have been sitting and waiting to Welcome open to my the free shop. packs all day. And holy crap, we got a tally in the shop. I might have to pick up that tally in the shop later. Who knows? Um, so let's see what's in my free packs. Nothing of value. Do I get anything decent in my second free-to-play pack? Probably not. I had to do a lot of work today. I had to help uh, install a window in my house. Uh, so uh, that's why I haven't posted this video. I've had to delay all day to open all of my stuff. What are the big offer packs going on right now? The 4,000 frickin' in-game cash investigation bundle and then a $1,000 King of the Mountain bundle. Three rogue tokens and 25. You get one of the following. Not worth it. Not even going to look at that. Not even going to really touch it. Uh, I'm not sure. I think that the picture quality is okay. I hope it is. If it's not, I'll have to adjust that in the future too. Again, this is kind of a new setup for me. It looks a little off, but maybe it's because I do have a 4K monitor now. So it's going to change the way that my stuff looks. But let me know down below in the comment section if the game looks a little bit weird or not as well. But one thing I did want to show you guys real quick is a lot of the cards in the last episode that I mentioned were buffed. So what do they look like? How are these new cards looking? How is Labar Jimmy looking at a... I think I have... I have some images that I got from some of the social media outlets of the different leveled up cards. So we're going to look at them real quick. I'm going to showcase them for you so you can see kind of how they are now or how they look like strength wise now that they're leveled up. All right, guys. So here we go with some of the new cards. Labar Jimmy at level six now. Minus 239 enemy max health decrease. That is complete insanity, guys. This might be the poor man's arrow storm, essentially. So, Labar Jimmy is much... It looks pretty good now. 542 health, 122 damage. Isn't spectacular, isn't amazing. Uh, the health isn't actually too bad. The damage is kind of eh. But uh, that enemy max health decrease is pretty insane. Now remember, that is all units on the battlefield. So this will wipe out, uh, from what people are saying, it will wipe out the equal equivalent of 
any assassin units of the card level that Labar Jimmy is. So if he is max level 6, he will take out max level 6 assassins, so on and so forth. Which it looks to be pretty accurate from what people are saying. So uh, that's pretty nasty. So a level 6 Labar Jimmy, that's what he looks like now. Now all these cards I'm going to be showing you guys, these are not my actual cards. These are cards that other people have posted on social media outlets. So uh, you're going to see the levels change and you're going to see a lot of other different things change. But I just want to showcase these cards for you guys. Because I'm sure you guys want to know what these cards look like. So that's what Labar Jimmy looks like. Here is what Marine Craig looks like. So almost max level 6. Not quite, just needs one more level up. But it only gets the 7 health increase. So 65 damage, you see 24 damage per second to the enemy leader in poison which is for five seconds that is 120 new kid damage that that thing is going to be doing also it's going to be doing 120 damage to surrounding units as well so that's pretty darn good guys that's a good amount of damage is going to be outputting 309 health 65 damage i still don't think his health and damage scaling is maybe what it needs to be it's okay but primarily most people are using marine craig for that tick damage that he's going to be doing with his war cry ability so his war cry poison Looks to be pretty darn good, so that seems to be uh, pretty decent. Plus, his range was expanded a good amount. It's now 2.5 for the power range duration, so that's what Marine Craig is looking like at at least level 6 for you guys, if you're interested in that. Next, we're going to look at Canadian Knight Ike at max level 5. 303 health, 206 damage. I don't know if that was tweaked at all, but it was the health boost that he got, so 109 max HP boost, guys. So he increases his health and fully heals. So he's going to increase his health 109 each time he uses his ability. That might be pretty darn good. Canadian Knight Ike might be a legitimate strategy again. You might see this Robin Tweak Canadian Knight Ike combo again because that looks pretty nasty. At least at a level 5 Canadian Knight Ike. So if you've got a 5 or 6 Canadian Knight Ike, that could be a scary combo for you if you're going to be rolling that now going forward in the PvP arena. So Canadian Knight Ike might be a card, guys. You might have to instant cancel here if you see him at a 5 or a 6. He could be very difficult to deal with. And now that we looked at Canadian Knight Ike, we also have to look at Robin Tweak. So here's what Robin Tweak looks like at almost max level 6 again. 83, so he'd be 85 damage at max level 6 with 327 health and 481 max HP boost. That's not too bad. So he's got a decent, a good decent chunk of health increase, probably about 120 some. Uh, from what I've been noticing from 5 to 6. And then his damage output looks a lot better scaling-wise now. So Robin Tweak might actually be a decently legitimate range unit now, not just his Warcry ability. So this could be interesting to see what we're going to see from Robin Tweak here going forward for people that have level 5, level 6 Robin Tweaks. And last but not least, let's look at Outlaw Tweak real quick. This is only a max level 5, not a max level 6. So you see 257 health, uh, 65 damage. And then that'll obviously continue to scale up. Then the 279 damage for his war cry ability, and then the 28 damage to the enemy leader. So that's actually okay. I think Outlaw Tweak, probably at level 6, might actually be somewhat legitimate. I'm not sure what his scaling is going to be. I'm not 100% on that. But if you guys do know any of the scaling for any of the other cards, uh, put that down below. Or which of these cards are you the most excited about having now to a more respectable level right now currently within the game? Uh, are you going to be using some of these cards now that have been buffed? But I definitely wanted to showcase that for you guys in case you guys were interested as far as uh, some of the changes that we are uh, seeing to some of these cards. Because I know a lot of you guys probably wanted to see uh, kind of just the difference in overall power that, uh, that, that they received. And I think that was the best way to show it off for you guys. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the deck that we're going to be trying out in today's episode. Because this is a deck that was given to me in a suggestion. Uh, I need to find it because that's not it. Oh, here it is. So here is the deck. Uh, let me see who actually suggested it real quick. I did not look that up. Um, it was from uh, Sergey182. Uh, can you try a deck that makes Mr. Hanky usable? I'm thinking Amazingly Randy, Gizmo, Ike, Swarm Units, Chicken, Rats, etc. With, with Kyle of the Drowlove sitting and making them invincible all the time. Add Tally and Stand the Great behind a tank, and you've got a horrible deck to fight against. So that is what uh, Sergey182 suggested, uh, and this is the deck that he suggested. Pretty much verbatim what he said. So the tank I chose was Osimo, because Osimo is really good right now. I put Stan in there. Uh, Amazingly Randy Rats, I got Tally, I've got Chicken Coop, Hanky, Kyle the Drowls, Gizmo Ike, Robo Bebe, uh, Paladin Butters, and Princess Kenny. Plus, the uh, fantasy event is currently going on right now, so I'll get a couple points if I'm able to get some wins with this deck. 
And, uh, yeah, fantasy bets going up. I already know that. Thanks a lot for that game. So let's go ahead and hop into it. Let's do one or two matches, guys. I don't want this video to drag on too long. And uh, I did do a different way of setting up uh, the way my uh, game looks. So, unfortunately, I might not get game volume for this. But I will try to fix this going forward in the future. If it does get volume, I do apologize uh, immensely. But uh, I don't know how to fix it. Because uh, I had to do couple different things uh here earlier but we got video to be more reliable than what i was using last time so the amazingly randy guys we have played faced this dude numerous times on the channel and times. so amazing randy 69 will be the opponent for match number one i don't think i don't have a camera card this, day. So this is going to be interesting Let's see what amazingly randy is going to be dishing out at us because I do not want to have to deal. He's just gonna keep Mecha Timmy out there. Oh, 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 oh. This planet is mine! That's fine, that's cool. From the shadows I strike! Oh boy! I'm here to we got a little bit of chip damage, not a whole lot. But unfortunately, I played Stan the Great, which probably shouldn't have done that either. So that was kind of a waste. And we haven't been able to use Hanky yet or Kyle of the Drow Elves. And we are in the. Uh, <laughs> 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 Combo, I mentioned I am the Atomo 4000. Your body is a perfect host. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, I was able to get that bar down. From the shadows, I strike! Oh, my health! Oh, oh, so, this is gonna be a loss, guys. It's amazingly Randy! Amazingly Randy! Don't go! Check out this! That's a good move. I am Carl! I'm here to switch you! Please go to call! Check out this! Check out this one! <laughs> Dick shot! I will be your new head. best friend! This planet is mine! Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Look at these clutch Program initiated. soul plays. I think, I don't know if Hanky saved the day. I feel like to some degree Hanky saved the day. A drill. Good game. Nice outfit. And a high yeah. <laughs> For, Against Amazingly Randy 69. Dude, I've played that guy numerous times on the channel. I know you guys have seen that. Uh, let's let's do one more match. 
Maybe two more? I don't know. I am really tired, and I would really like to uh, get this video done, get it uploaded, and just relax for a little while before I have to go to bed, because I have to go to bed in a couple of hours. So, uh, uh, but, uh, yeah, we will uh, definitely have plenty more content here to come on the channel here going forward. Uh, with South Park Fudge of course. Uh, we'll probably be doing some Smashing 4 here coming up soon, guys. There was a big update to Smashing 4, and uh, a new game mode was added, so I'm definitely going to be checking that out and maybe posting a video or two on that as well. Thanks. 999912. I believe if I saw that right, he was 470. So this is going to be fun. Well, uh... I don't know if I need this guy. The planet is mine! We got a level six alien card coming. So apparently today is fantasy sci-fi. His name is. Check my body. I will bring you down. You Marcus, huh? Always love to see Marcus, guys. No equipment. This first time of the day. I don't even know. Energy, but the zap damage should kill him. At worst, dwarf clean card will get one hit. Aye. Almost two hits. Yeah, we have no damage to shank. But, uh, of course, the PvP matchmaking system is still flawless in this game. Uh, as we will probably. Match. I am a supreme we being. We lost the last match and we drew it, so, you know, anything's possible here, guys. I don't know what to do. Really it's awesome amazingly randy! Greetings, I am the Asimo 4000. Okay, well. Your body is Check out this coat. trick! And my Randy Poison is going to decimate me. Okay, so again, guys, if there are other decks you guys would like to see here on the channel, let me know down below. Uh, this one is going to be a complete massacre. I'm calling the police! I win Decimate everything. Program initiated. Wow. Okay, so the bar Jimmy, not bad now, guys. I don't know how you feel about him. But level six, pretty nasty. So we looked at the new stats. We got the legendary. We uh, reset. Got the legendary pack that was pretty crappy, and unfortunate. And then uh, we got decimated with a new deck. So uh, you know, all in all, I think a pretty solid episode all around, guys. Uh, but yeah, I'm definitely going to be working on trying to get the audio back for the game. I, I do apologize that it wasn't in this video. And uh, hopefully the picture quality was good. If it wasn't, let me know down below. I will try to adjust that and work on it. I have to edit a different way now because the old way that I used to edit, because of the new iOS update to iOS 12, my old recording software wasn't isn't updated to iOS 12. So until that gets updated, I have to resort to the old way that I used to record and I don't think that picture quality is quite as good as the uh, one that I was using. So, again, let me know down below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Uh, much more to come this week for uh, South Park Furniture. And until next time, guys, my name is Drewzy.